my name is Chris and I am in where are we at today? Uh, well, we're in Rhode Island. Okay. This is the Rhode Island Comic Con. We're in Providence, Rhode Island. You know, even more specific than that. And uh, you're with uh, Richard Karn. Now, Richard, you played a really awesome character on television on Home Improvement as Al Borland. And um, I've got to ask you, what are some of the memories that you have from Home Improvement that shoot behind the scenes? Wow. Well, there, gosh. I mean, the last season we went all the way up to Traverse City. Have you ever been to Traverse City? No. Upper State, Michigan, you know, Upper Peninsula. It's gorgeous. And uh, I remember doing that. That was a lot of fun. I remember dropping a beam on a Nomad, which, you know, it wasn't really a Nomad. It was a mock-up. But we got cards and letters like we were herding baby seals. I remember working with... Um, uh, Morgan Fairchild. I remember working with uh, Ernest Borgnine and Jack Elam and and uh, George Foreman. It's just, you know, it was eight years of just having a great time. Now here's a kicker. I am a big Airwolf fan, so I loved it when you guys had Ernest Borgnine on, yeah? on Home Home Improvement. Do you remember the joke? I wish. I I can't. Well, the the joke was is that the two of them, Jack Elam, yeah, you remember Jack Elam? He had that eye that would just kind of he did a lot of old westerns, but he had a wandering eye. So then you had Ernest Borgnine with this, like, you know, this face. And they, they both worked on the line uh, at the Ford company. One of the last guys on the Ford, uh, uh, it might have been Thunderbird. And, and Tim goes, uh, so, uh, you know, to, Je to uh, Ernest Borgnine, goes, so what do you work on? He goes, I work on bumpers. You know, and his face is like this bumper. And then they cut to Jack Hill and he says, well, where do you work? I am, I'm aligning the headlights, you know, and his eyes like going off and like that. It was a great joke. Right. And so those um, who are trying to break into acting, what would you, what kind of motivation and tips would you give them? Watch a lot of things. You can learn a lot by watching different styles of acting, different styles of, of people. Um, read. Reading is huge. I mean, doing your research, that's big. And, and you know, maybe um, taking classes in school. If you're in school, do the school plays. If you're in college, take Acting 101, or, or if you're out of college, um, look for a good acting class. You know, it's the doing of it that you have to get under your belt. Okay. And what made you start acting in the first place? Um, well, I kind of did it on a dare. I was like in high... Uh, I was in high school. Well, I had already done something in, in junior high, but in high school, uh, they said, you know, I'll, I'll audition for this if you audition for it. I go, yeah, okay. You know, and so I auditioned for it, and I got it, and, and I was, um, I wasn't brilliant, but I was good, and the audience liked it, and that was a good feeling. Right. Now, one, uh, one last question is, I want to know if there's ever going to be a home improvement get-together get, get or something happening. Yeah, you know, I don't, I don't see that happening in the foreseeable future, mainly because the, the producers, Disney and Windancer, are at odds still after 30 years. But Tim and I are doing a new show on the History Channel called um, More Power. Okay, and what's, what's that about? It's about uh, him and I reminiscing, talking about old times, going a deep, deep dive into tools and a couple of projects. All right, well... I look forward to that. Thank you very much for your time. All right.